Would President Biden ever try to get out of a meeting by pulling a fire alarm? <laughs> Are you talking about something specifically? A Democratic <laughs> member of Congress pulled a fire alarm around a series of votes. No fire. Is that appropriate? What I can tell you is uh, I'm not talking to, spoken to the president about this. Uh, and so just not going just not going to comment. I will leave it up to I know there's a house process moving forward right now I'll leave it to the house. Okay, uh, since President Biden is so pro-union Is he okay with 75,000 health care workers possibly walking off the job this week? What I can tell you is that and we, I've said this many times already this morning the president believes all workers all workers including health care workers and those that make their work uh, possible they deserve a fair pay and they, they deserve fair, a fair benefit. That's what the president believes. He believes that collective bargaining works. That is, we've seen that play out in the past even a couple of months. We think about the Teamsters. Uh, you think about the Teamsters and, and the UPS. You think about the West Coast ports, right? We see that play out. And so it is important uh, that that uh, that we you know we see that continue. And I'll have to, and I'll have to say like the, the Treasury Department uh, laid out recently a, a major report that unions and collective bargaining are good for the overall economy and help raise wages and for everybody whether they are a union member or not. And I think that matters. Would you consider joining them on the picket line if they strike? Look, I don't have anything else to to share on on the president's schedule. What I can say is that. This, when, when we see this type of collective bargaining, when we see this type of, um, you know, the report that I just laid out, when, uh, when unions and, and, and unions do uh, collective bargaining, it actually helps our economy overall and it raises wages. And I think that's important for all, not just union members, also non-union members. And a couple days ago, uh, looters were uh, terrorizing businesses in Philadelphia. What is the White House doing about that? So obviously, uh, any coordinated theft uh, and vandalism that occurred in Philadelphia, in Philadelphia is, uh, is destructive and simply unacceptable. That's what we say. We've always said that. Any type of, uh, of vandalism, any type of violence, we certainly denounce that from here. Uh, the acts of, of uh, these individuals harmed local businesses, as we, you saw, as we saw in the communities that depend on them. But I also want to be clear because uh, the police, uh, the police commissioner in Philadelphia, did say, and he said this on the record, that looting was the act of opportunists uh, taking advantage of an unrelated protest. But obviously, obviously, and we have been very consistent here when it comes to any sort of vandalism, uh, certainly looting or any type of violence, we are going to uh, we are going to simply uh, condemn that, and it is unacceptable.